Dear colleagues, this is a hard cataract with pseudo exfoliation. A small piece rent occurred in this case. Let us see how it happened and how it was managed. By this time, incisions have been made. The capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye, and now capsular excess is being done with the help of a uterata forceps. In pseudo exfoliation, we must see if the genule is weak or not during capsular excess. If there is wrinkling of the capsule during capsular excess, then we must be sure about genular weakness and we must support the capsular bag with a capsular tension ring that is CTR. Now hydrodissection is being done at multiple points. It must be very gentle. A little bit of fluid must be injected. The nucleus is mobilized and we saw that the nucleus rotated nicely. This is a heart cataract. Nuclear sclerosis will be about grade 4. Now I am going to divide the nucleus into two halves by direct chop. Here it is. I bury the teeth of the phaco handpiece into the substance of the nucleus, go towards the opposite equator and now I try to divide the nucleus into two halves and it is a multi-level separation. Now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and go at a deeper level, hold one piece with little vacuum and with the chopper I separate these two pieces into two heminuclei. Yes, the nucleus has divided into two heminuclei and once the hard cataract divides into two heminuclei, it can be managed. Now I am going to divide this large fragment into two more small parts and emulsifying each fragment. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80%. This is Oatly Catarix 3 FACO machine. 80% FACO energy on heminucleus has been emulsified. Now this is the other heminucleus. I hold at a deeper plane, not superficially. And if we hold at a deeper plane, then we can hold it very firmly and chopping becomes easy. And now this is the last fragment and as I emulsify the last fragment I am keeping an eye on the posterior capsule and suddenly I saw see that there's a small rent at around 5 o'clock, not exactly at the center, but a little eccentric, little towards 5 o'clock. And I have already asked for a viscoat, and I'm waiting for the viscoat. And then I thought it is a small rent, and I can manage without using viscoat. So after thinking for a while I again use ultrasonic energy and very slowly I start emulsifying this nuclear 
piece. Yes, the nuclear fragment has been emulsified. You can see the nuclear, a small piece of rent at around uh, between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. So I ask my assistant to inject viscoat from Alcon. I have stopped irrigation. She is injecting viscoat. I'm holding the uh, syringe. And now I clean the cortex using a Simco cannula. Inject viscoat again and implant a lens. Now see how I implant the lens. At the first attempt, I'm not going to implant it in the back. I'll place it over the iris or over the anterior capsular rim. And first, I will the trailing haptic will be placed in the capsular back. So here it is, the trailing haptic is placed in the capsular back. If we try to place the leading haptic into the capsular back, what can happen is there will be stress on the posterior capsule and that small rent will extend and I this surgery may be lengthened. I may have to use a multi-piece intraocular lens in the sulcus. I may not be able to place the lens in the bag. So I have been able to place the lens in the bag. Now I remove the viscoelastic substance. First I irrigate the viscoelastic substance with a Simco cannula, then I irrigate with the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done. Now I am using both irrigation and aspiration. Fortunately, the small posterior capsular rent didn't extend. And I didn't place the leading haptic in the bag first probably that movement helped now I hydrate the side boards and this is the final lavage of anterior chamber with PSS so the tip that I'm sharing in this case is if there's a small rent don't place the leading hefting in the capsular bag Place it over the iris or over the anterior capsular rim. Place the trailing haptic first in the capsular bag and then the leading haptic. That's it. Now check the wounds, place few drops of antibiotic and conclude the case.